Ariel Hawani in Brooklyn, New York, getting set for UFC 223 alongside Rajin, Ally Aquinta, who of course meets Paul Felder this Saturday live on pay-per-view. And how exciting is this? Finally, in New York, Ally Aquinta is here. It's the yearly April fight for you. What is going through your mind? It's April. We're back. What's going through my mind is like, look at this. It was awesome. I would, uh, this is where I want to be. I, just, I, love, uh, I love fight week. I love, uh, I love everything about it. Talking to everybody, talking to you. It's great. I'm just uh, in a good spot right now. I know you've been asked about this a bunch, but I have to ask about the sign here. There it is, Raging I have, Al. I have the best sign out of everybody. I agree. Indeed. Although you missed your social media tag. At, like, at Al Iaquinta. I thought it was Iaquinta Realty. It, uh, no, but really, where is your, your real sign? Uh, the printer printed two Anthony Pettis signs. You're kidding. They must like him a lot more than they like me. This didn't really happen. This really happened. No way. Yeah, they, got two, they got two of his. They should have put them both up. I couldn't find my spot. I was playing like musical chairs. Okay, there's a sign. And then there was what? no, so I knew where I was sitting. I've been to like a million of these. I've never seen that happen. That's crazy, right? What they, do you think? What, what, what is this, you know, what, what's the symbolism big here? Con big conspiracy. You feel like there's more to it? it? came down from the top. Don't give Al a sign. Do you really think that? No, no, no. I kind of think that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't think so. We're, I think everything's all right right now. Um, you don't have a sign. How is this possible? I don't, I don't mean know. to belabor the point, but they came up to me and they they pulled me aside and they they were like they they gave me a sincere apology and they said we're we're rushing to the printer right now. We're gonna try to get it done in time. If not, I said you know what? Don't worry about it. I bring my own freaking sign. And you so, made this? Yeah. I think it's way better. I think it's way better. This way is you, better. man of the people. Yeah, from so from now on, I fight. I don't want no freaking sign. I got. I'm gonna keep this forever. DIY. That's it. Did it myself. Like a fixer-upper here in uh, Fort Greene. There we go. That's it. You know, the real estate here is phenomenal. Have you, have you checked it out? too much Brooklyn. No? You know? Nah. It's like a gold mine here. It's it booming. Yeah, it is. But I, it's too far from me. I don't, it's okay. not my, I grew up Nassau County, Long Island. I know that, like, the back of my hand. And, uh, you know, so that's, and I, I don't know too many people. Brooklyn, I know people, but not, like, not, right. you know, it's a far drive for me. It's not, uh, it's not, it's. Long Island's my home. Yeah. Business. Business is good. Business is. I'm right now. I'm in the. I'm in the fight business. You know. So I'm kind of just hanging on to the things that I've got. I'm not really trying to chase after anything else, and just trying to focus on on uh, on on the fight. You know. But it it's been good. It keeps me busy. I train in the morning, and then in the, in the afternoon I'm taking care of things, and and then at night I train again. So it breaks up the day. It keeps me out of the. You know, out of the house just. Staring at the kitchen, at the right. at the at the, uh, the refrigerator, you know. So I'm 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 always moving. I'm just progressing, learning new new things. I think it's it's that's the most important thing. Simulating my mind to just keep. It's competition. I'm, you know how many agents are out there that I'm competing yeah, against yeah. for all these things, you know. So it's like the lightweight division. It is like the lightweight division out there. A bunch of savages, you know. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm. Uh, how could I not be? Look at this. This is sick. You know how many people dream about about being here in, in a, a situation like this, fighting in New York, in in the Barclays Center. Uh, it's just uh, I just got to go out there and do what I know I can do. I I can make this look good. I can make this such a great night. How's the knee? The knee is. I never thought I'd be able to knees. The that's two right, of them. That's right, that's right. I never thought that I would be able to do what I've been able to do. Ever, ever again. Really. And uh, I put in a full tra training camp. I've, I've wrestled jujitsu on the mat, grinding. You know. Of course, I've had little, like, injuries here and there, like everyone else. But this is unreal. It's unreal, unbelievable. Uh, the sports science lab in Staten Island. I always shot those guys out. I really am. I, I wouldn't be. I really believe I would not be here if it weren't for them. They put me back together. Um, Really, everyone's just like, oh, it is what it is. And they took me from, you know, I walk in that place and for three hours, boom, boom, boom. I'm going from one thing to the next. They're preparing me for this fight. Uh, you know, you, utilizing their facility and their great trainers along with, with the guys I got home, Ray Longo, Matt Serra, the teams that I got, you know, shame on me if I don't succeed. You know what I mean? I've got everything that everyone could ask for as far as, uh, you know, People, people just, for, they, 
helping me out. You know, it's it's incredible. People that have gone out of their way to help me out because they believe in me and they know, you know, what uh, they believe in what I can do. You told me a couple of months ago that you think that Paul Felder is a quote unquote kiss ass and that the UFC wants him to win. Did you lose your phone? No, no, I, I was hearing like something okay. like a box. Like, did you hear that? No. Someone hitting pads on like a video. Was that you? No. Was that you? I heard it. Though. You heard it, right? Maybe it was them. I don't know. Sorry. I'm just wondering if you still feel that way. Uh, is there a point your time? How do I feel about it? I don't know. I'm not, I haven't even really thought about it. I, he's doing what he's got to do. You, you know feel like I mean? the UFC wants him to win this fight? I feel like if you ask people in the UFC, they're probably going to say, there it is again. Uh, it's them. Uh, I don't know. I hear things hitting. I'm like trying to. Uh, I don't know. I'm just. Uh, so. I don't know. I don't give a shit. I'm coming to fight. I don't, whoever's room for me is room for me. Whoever's room for them is room for them. But uh, I just know what I can do and make it look smooth and make it look good. I don't give a shit. I don't care. At this point, you know, it, it is what it is. How do you feel about the whole lightweight title picture? It's a mess. Tony Ferguson, you know, saying that he's still going to be the interim champion, wants to be the interim champion, should probably still be the interim champion. Then you got Connor, who they haven't stripped yet. They have Max going up. It, the whole thing is that you could have three champions come Sunday, for all intents and purposes. What do you make of all this? Craziness. It's insane. They got is it tough as, as someone who's, who's trying to climb the ladder and get that gold to not really know what the path to the gold is? I know what the path to the gold is. It's beating that guy, you know, Saturday night. So I'm not too worried about it. I watch after the fact. I'll figure, you know, I'll kind of watch the fight and enjoy it as a fan. The, the, the craziness of Max Holloway stepping in on six days' notice to take on Khabib, who's freaking guy's been running through everybody. You, know? you asked for Khabib many times. I, uh, I, my manager called, you know, when we found out Ferguson. He was the first one on the phone, but really, I guess Max guy, yeah. Wow, you you said I you wanted. They didn't. I, they, it seems like I wasn't even a thought on the, a blip on the radar. You know, but highest ranked lightweight yeah. coming off a win. You would have done it. Of course. I'm ready. Yeah. Something, you know, something happens at this point. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'll pray to anybody on Saturday night. I'm ready. I really, I'm ready to go. It's, Khabib is tough, you know. He's tough. But it's sort of, Max, he, he's got the mindset of, it's what it's all about, you know. You want to be the best. These are the opportunities you take. He's, he's stepping in there. And and I can't. It just seems like uh, and uh, Race Longo said the same thing. It seems like the guys coming in on short notice have a little advantage lately. I mean, I can't think of an exact uh, scenario. Um, well, Nate Diaz beat Conor McGregor on very short notice. That you know. Although Anderson Silva didn't beat Daniel Cormier. But I get what you're saying. There's no pressure. You kind of just no go pressure. in there. You're coming in and and like they were saying at the press conference, he's fighting a new guy too. It's yeah. to, you know it's different. Yeah. Um, you know it's a different fight and you got no pressure. But uh, hats off to him for, for, for stepping in. It's it's gonna be it's, that's gonna be interesting. I don't know. I it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Al, I gotta say it is so good to see you. It really is. It's so good that you're finally getting this opportunity in New York. Uh, you're the last of the Mohicans. You're the last guy, and it's kind of cool that you're the one being featured. There aren't. I don't think there are any other New Yorkers. Are there any no, other New Yorkers? No, no, it's just you. This is great. Poetic justice. It is. It's great. With or without a sign. Who needs these signs? I got my, I got my sign, yeah. man. We got the best one in the house. They wish they had a sign like mine. I can't wait. Best of luck on Saturday. Very much looking forward to it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ariel.